Looks like you're finding your way around. Maybe making some new friends. I was planning on getting some rest, but... Things are moving at a frantic pace. For all we know, I'll be landing a jet on the roof with Mr. Stark this afternoon. <sighs> Not quite like it was in the good old days. To stand still is to move back. You got that one from Agatha. She used to say it all the time. I always preferred if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Used to. I am sorry. I should have had this talk with you much sooner. But you should know... Agatha... She's no longer with us. What? Th that is impossible. She was so... Fierce. Indomitable. Or maybe just kind to a fault. Agatha's power... How could she be... gone? She put her trust in the wrong person. Agatha died in an accident, caused by her protege, Wanda Maximoff, the Scarlet Witch. The Midnight Sun's latest recruit, a powerful spellcaster in her own right. Perhaps the most powerful Agatha and I had ever seen. Wanda's abilities were growing. Too quickly for my liking. Agatha was determined to help her control them. I tried to caution her, but she would not listen. There was an incident. An accident, I'm sure, but... Agatha was killed. Yes, incinerated in an instant. Not even Ash to remember her by. The others were heartbroken, as was I. But I also saw the danger. The threat, if Wanda's powers were left unchecked. So I did what needed to be done. I sent Wanda away, to the Sanctum Sanctorum, to study under Doctor Strange. I know the others still harbor a great deal of resentment towards me for it. Was Wanda so different from me as a child? Was it that easy to send her away? I didn't have a choice. Wanda's powers were beyond even her own control. And this time, I had no Agatha to help me, as I had with you. I thought she would be safe with Strange. On that part, at least, I was clearly mistaken. Ah, oh, Wanda. Agatha. It seems we've lost them both now. I conjured a small shrine to Agatha's memory on the grounds, hoping to find some solace, a way to move forward. You should pay your respects. Maybe you'll find what I couldn't. Good night, Hunter. Agatha! You always did have the most remarkable eyes, Hunter. Just like your mother's. Maybe that's why you're the first. The first? To commune with the spirits, of course. <laughs> Is this a trick of some kind? Because I am not amused. No, it's no trick, dear. You're just the first to see me. By now you've heard I had a bit of trouble with my corporeal body. I actually find it quite liberating. You are dead. Always straight to the heart of things. That's my hunter. You seem strangely at ease about this whole thing. After a thousand years of living, you learn to take things in stride. Even death. And what have you been doing all this time? Meet me by the cave just over there. You know the one. The Bloodgate? Caretaker always told me to stay away from that place. 
I think we can safely lift the veil on a few more of our secrets. What's the worst that can happen? This looking portal is known as a blood gate, and you're the only one among us who can pass through it. Blood gate? Caretaker's handiwork? Yes, Sarah got a little overprotective after the accident with Wanda. It's become something of a habit for her. I have noticed that. What lies beyond is meant for you, as much as it ever was for her. Assuming you're up to the challenge, that is. You know I am. I do, but it's always polite to ask. That is something. There was a time when the blood stood within these celestial halls to prove their worth. This particular arena belongs to a goddess who often favored Sarah, Ashtor. Sarah, caretaker, was here? Nothing ever comes easy, dear. The Elder Gods felt their descendants needed to earn their blessings, which is why they created these trials to begin with. Trials? I should. This entire realm exists for that purpose. Trial by combat, with no chance of outside interference. Yes, but I may have found a loophole they never considered. Why don't you try summoning your four-legged friend? <laughs> The Old Gods are responsible for a great many creations, including your faithful companion. I think even they tend to forget that. Good luck, dear. As the goddess of balance and order, Ashtor was sometimes called the giver of justice. You can expect a fair fight, or at least... You were too weak for this fight. Your mother abandoned. I saw a move like that once, centuries ago. Your fate is sealed. Feel my call. Compared to our girl, these hellhounds are nothing but mindless beasts. Don't hesitate to Once again, Lilith's servants fall. Good girl, Charlie. Oh, and you too, Hunter. You finished this trial, but don't worry. The other gods are waiting.
be wary of this place. But it's your birthright, and I think after everything you've been through, you can handle it now. The two of you, as well as your mother, are the last of your kind, a blood. Your lineage follows an unbroken line to the old gods themselves. And if you call upon them, you might just find they're actually listening. They won't work miracles for you, but their blessings can be quite useful in the right circumstance. Why don't you ask the goddess Ashtor for her aid in dealing with that barrier over there? in our purpose. After all this time, it's still just as beautiful as the first time I laid eyes on it. It's hard to believe Lilith and Caretaker brought this place all the way from Transia. Of course, it was no coincidence that they wound up so close to Salem. This area is particularly attuned to the forces of magic. That's why the Elder God's influence was so prevalent here. And why our sanctuary here has remained all but impregnable over the centuries. <laughs> and now I'm rambling on like an old Sorcerer Supreme. Why don't you come see me in the library tomorrow night? Oh, and... Let's keep this just between the two of us for now. I'm afraid Sarah... Uh, caretaker... Isn't ready to see me yet. Good night, Hunter. Good girl, Charlie. Please come to the forge at your earliest convenience. Again, that's Hunter to the Forge. Thank you. Uh, strange out. Hunter, just in time. His royal weirdness and I were deciding what to do with that nasty little Hydra gift box you found. Ah, yes. The spooky crate? The very one. Though it is far from any mere container, I assure you. I am detecting powerful emanations from inside. If this is a sign of what Hydra is after, I fear we are all in grave danger. My offer still stands. I could fly the thing up and nuke it in orbit. Only way to be sure. Or we could open it, Tony, and perhaps use the mystical energies I sense inside to our advantage. Yeah, I heard a we in there. <laughs> Green goopy gamma serums are one thing. I'm not opening boxes full of mummy curses. You don't have to. Hunter, if you'll allow me. Your second funeral, boss. Whatever artifact is inside, it's better off in our hands. We desperately need to get into this crate. If Hydra is now working to acquire mystical antiquities, then our situation is very dire indeed. 
We need to find a way to gain the upper hand. And you think you can do it with whatever's in the container? Tony has one of the greatest scientific minds that I've ever seen. I, of course, have an unparalleled understanding of the mystic arts. I have no doubt that we can find a way to research whatever we find in there and have it work in our favor. I just wonder what it could be. I hope the two of you create something powerful. I want to stop Lilith quickly and decisively. As I said, I'm sure it can help us. I just need to convince Tony to set his ego aside. His discomfort with the esoteric nature of the Arcane might be a problem. But Tony's eccentricities aside, I know you can make this work. Right now, with the Sanctum out of my reach, I'm fighting with one hand tied behind my back. It, metaphorically, that is. If I can find items to research, I can give the Midnight Suns every possible advantage over Lilith and her disciples. I look forward to seeing what you come up with. Me too, Hunter. Now, all this talk is going nowhere unless we can get this container open and study what's inside. Step up to the anvil, Hunter. It doesn't bite. Oh, and I was just about to binge watch my stories. By the hoary hosts of Hoggoth, I, I can hardly believe it. What? Is it worse than you expected? No, it's totally unexpected. It's the Eternity Dagger. This was in a place of honor in my bedchamber in the Sanctum for years. The Sanctum Sanctorum is no common domicile to be burglared. These barbarians have no idea what they possessed. Or perhaps they did. Maybe these artifacts are exactly what Faustus and my mother were after to begin with. A distressing thought. If they had my dagger, then who knows what others of my priceless possessions have passed through their greedy fingers. The cube of nothingness. The tear of Provia, and most worrisome of all. Your toothbrush? You, uh, had a little coffee thing going on this morning with your breath? Oh, Tony. Sorry. Doc's right, Hunter. I drank three glasses of holy water just to walk through the Sanctum's front door. This is like a doomsday vault for all sorts of supernatural nastiness. We need to put a lid on this mess. Pronto. I believe Carol is already working on it. At last. Now that this artifact has been returned to its proper owner, we shall see if we can make use of the mystic forces contained within. A simple object, though certainly not useless. Started right away. Hey, Hunter. Take a look. What do you think? I feel like I could automate this process and take myself out of the loop here. The mystic arts require concentration and focus, if you don't mind. I'm here if you need me. Hunter, 
Uh, got a sec to spare? Hunter, buddy, talk to me. You moving into the forge, Hunter? You've been here more in the past few days than I have since... ever. The forge is pretty badass, but the creature trapped inside riles up my own inner demon. Um, speaking of, there's something you should know about me. You are bonded with a spirit of vengeance? Damn, you're good! How could you tell? You are not the first Spirit of Vengeance to join the Midnight Suns. I fought beside another, just a few days... <clears throat> three centuries ago. Oh man, um... Sometimes when I have crap to work through, I like to get my blood pumping. Why don't we hit the yard for a sparring session? I know Sparky's excited to meet you. Sparky? That's what I call my Spirit of Vengeance. His real name is something you'd see written on a symbol, but with, like, twelve apostrophes. Also, he's not allowed inside after the incident with caretaker Sumerian Sofa. It would be my honor to spar with the spirit of vengeance. <laughs> wow, he's real excited. Never thought he'd get bouncy, but here we are. Okay, let's do this. I'll get Blade to set things up. Won't take a minute. I will head to the yard. Um, when you and Sparky trade places, what does he look like? He's the guy with the flaming metal skull and hellfire chains. Kinda hard to miss. Hunter, ready to get your burn on? I'm talking training with Ghost Rider. Spirits of vengeance train the hardest. The time for punishment is here. I still say we should have built a firing range first. Ready to work? Maybe you should be the speaker. Hunter, report to the war room. We've got a mission. It's good to have you around again. You called for me, Captain? Keep telling ya, Carol works too, but yeah, I did. Now that Tony's finally starting to get a handle on his gremlin problem, I've been able to put Central to good use. Got a lead on some particularly gnarly Hydra operations happening in the city. But we need to move fast if we want to intercept them in time. Then let's get going. My thoughts exactly. There's just one problem, though. We seem to have lost our gatekeeper, Magic. Lost? Well, I updated her on the mission, she said something I can only assume to be a prolific swear word in Russian, and disappeared. Literally. And with no magic... There's no passage to New York. Or anywhere, for that matter. Now you see my problem. Do not worry, Captain. I will locate and alert her of the team's needs. There's that can-do, get-it-done, old-timey, prophesied savior of humanity attitude I was hoping to see today. Still. You better hurry. Not sure how long Hydra will remain in their current position. And I shall make haste. Yes, you hasten as much as you can, Hunter. Got a minute, huh? Crazy world you woke up to, Hunter. Hydra running around causing trouble. Apocalypse prophecies. The Bronx. It is indeed, Daywalker. And that op against Faustus, the way Captain Marvel just absorbed that bomb, unbelievable, isn't it?
That bomb was clearly meant for me. I am in her debt. Yeah, but I don't think she sees it that way. She just saves people. Amazing. Smart, quick-witted, fearless, hell, she even glows. And do you find all of your allies equally impressive? Yes, no. Wait, wait, what are you trying to say? You are not used to expressing feelings of affection, are you? I have no idea what you're talking about. My apologies. And if I did, this ain't my first rodeo, you know? Of course it is not. Whatever a rodeo is. Yeah. Well, now that that's settled, maybe I should go sharpen my stakes or something. And maybe we should keep this uh, chat to ourselves for now. Have you seen... No. All right. Robbie, have you seen magic? No, but there were some pretty crazy energy flashes coming from the dorms a few minutes ago. It usually means she wants to be left alone. Trust me on that. Thanks, Robbie. Hey, for someone they just dug up, you look pretty fresh. <laughs>